Rett syndrome is a rare and severe neurodevelopmental genetic disease most often affecting girls. Symptoms typically arise within the first 6 to 18 months, resulting in the loss of motor and vocal functions, microcephaly, gastrointestinal complications, social withdrawal and lack of communication, repetitive hand tics, and varying degrees of behavioral and cognitive impairments often observed in individuals with autism. Unlike autism, however, Rett syndrome predisposes these girls to the onset of seizures and scoliosis. Over time, individuals with Rett syndrome frequently regain interest in socialization with their peers, which can be developed with the proper course of treatment, and allow girls suffering from Rett syndrome to have an improved quality of life, filled with people they can connect with beyond just family. However, the diagnosis of Rett syndrome as being part of autism spectrum disorder can lead to the delay of treatments that are essential for the array of health issues unique to Rett syndrome. By identifying Rett syndrome early on, these individuals can receive personalized physical, occupational, and speech therapies, proper nutrition, and medication that can greatly improve their quality of life, as well as delay the onset of other diseases and symptoms. Despite these complications, there is hope. Using the cutting edge and innovative RAMM, Rett syndrome multiplex microarray technology, we can detect for the three most common genetic markers that cause Rett syndrome. Our test looks for mutations T158M, R168X, and R270X in the MECP2 gene on the X chromosome that are most commonly found in cases of Rett syndrome. By using probes that target these mutations and providing doctors with specific and quantifiable information, we can give them the best tool to diagnose potential cases. We start by using a microarray platform coded with the target probe of both the mutated and unmutated sequences. Then, we dye the sample DNA and run it through the microarray, along with a sample of normal genomic human DNA as a control. The microarray can be dyed different colors depending on which sequences properly anneal and which do not. By placing the microarray, under a laser and detecting the fluorescent emissions using a multiplex microarray scanner. This allows for results to be quantified based on the observed fluorescence. Results of this assay can provide crucial diagnostic information toward identifying the condition early on, allowing patients with Rett syndrome to receive the treatment they so desperately need. Give your children and loved ones a chance at a more fulfilling life. For more information, visit www.rettsyndrome.org. Thank you.